Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on Gitroy Tips. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix the Windows 11 is lacking or you are facing an issue with Windows 11 is slow and how you can fix this app. So there are many reasons why the Windows 11 is getting lagged up and there are many reasons why it is slow and laggy. So after this video, trying on these steps, they're definitely going to fix the issue up. So let me directly get into this. So it's going to take not much time. Let me do it with the fastest fast and I'm going to demonstrate you how to fix this app. So the first one, we have to go over here in the search and type settings. Click on this one and we have to go over here in the privacy and security. Right now, you can see we have two options. One is window permission. And if you scroll down, you can see there is one thing called app permission. So these things should be changed or tweaked in order to increase your performance. So first thing, just go over here in the general. And right now you can see these things are actually turned on. Let apps show my personal ads by using the, my advertising ID. It's actually turned it off, but the rest, these things are turned on. So this is one of the reason. So we just need to turn this off, turn all these things off. By turning this off, they're not going to affect you anything. Just go back and navigate to the speech. Right now, we're in the speech. Make sure this is turned it off. If it is turned it on, turn this off. And we have to go back to the once again to the privacy and security. Go to the linking and typing personalization. Make sure this is turned it off as well. Now go back and we have to go to the next one, which is diagnostic and feedback. Over here, make sure this thing should be turned off. That is no important and this should be turned off. And also improve linking and typing, tailored experiences, feed diagnostic data, and all these things should be turned off as well. Right now, go back to the privacy and security. We have to go to the activity history. Right now, over here in the activity history, what we need to do is we just need to turn this off as well. And we need to go back. And also over here, what we need to do is go over here in the search permissions. And right now, as you can see, the save search is it's, it's very important because it's for the security of uh, in our windows. And what we need to do is in the safe search, it, by default, some cases this might be on this one or this one. It should not be turning this off. Just change this to mode rate over here. And also, if you scroll down, you can see there are cloud content search and all those things. Just turn this off over here. And even history can be turned off. Now go back over here and we have to go to the privacy and security. And there is one thing called searching windows over here. And make sure over here the window searching over here can also be turned off as well. So if it is in the classics, let's skip to the classic itself. There is no issue with that and rest everything should be turned off. Now we need to go back. And right now if you scroll down, you can see there is an option called app permissions. Where the location, camera, microphone, all these things, we are going to give the permission to these so that it will be used up in the background which is affecting. So just go over here and make sure that you have not given any location services. Over here, I have not given for anything. And also the same for the camera over here. So right now, anyone using the device can choose if their apps have the camera access with that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to turn this off as well. And I'm gonna go back. And right now, after going back over here, I need to go back to the microphone. So what I need to do is th there are the kind of apps over here. So right now, the sound current is over here. So what I'm gonna do is if I turn this off, I'll be losing everything right now if I'm recording. So instead of I'm just go over here I'm gone and over here we have a mistake right now if you go over here turn this off you know if I'm recording right now it is going to get paused right now so what I'm gonna do is I have to turn this off one by one so the camera I don't want any permissions to the camera and even for the photos can be turned off as well and even for the stipping tool and this is actually I'm right now using turn this off turn this off and also you can see that it's something which is actually using Premiere Pro and the currently using the it is using by the OBA. So you have to tweak a few things over here and you need to go back. And after it is done, you have to go for the voice activation, can be completely turned off as well. You can completely turn this off. And also you can go back over here for the notifications. You don't need any notification access, just completely turn this off as well. And if you go over here in the account info, can be turned off. And also you can just go back and everything over here, account info can be turned off, contacts, calendars, phone calls, call history, emails, task, messaging, radios, and everything over here can be changed according to its needs and configurations. For example, like I said, right now I'm shooting with the OBS. So turning off the microphone is going to be a big headache for me. So I'm not going to do this. So just turn off almost everything over here. And once everything has been completely turned off, we just need to close this, not close this, just go over here in the personalization. And over here, you have to go over here. I think we need to navigate to the colors. And right now we can see there is an option called transparency effect, which is windows and surface up here transparent, which means if we turn this off, you'll be losing the animation effects in the windows, nothing much. 
we just need to turn this off as well so which means you know uh, the thumbnails and all those things so these kind of things will be completely turned off as well next now is all about we just need to close this and go over here in the search and right now we need to type for sysdm.cpl you have to type this one and we have to go over here that are going to give you this particular box go over here in the advanced and right now what we need to do is just go to the settings right now we can see the lot of things being actually added out which is one of the reason why we are having this issue so what we need to do is first one let windows decide to what best for my computer should we change it to adjust for the best performance over here and once you change this to adjust for the best performance what we need to do is we just need to select few things one is over here click on show thumbnails instead of the icons should be selected and also we have to go over here there is one option called smooth edges of the screen fonts should be selected as well so change this to adjust for the best performance and you have to select show thumbnails over here and also you have to select this one smooth edge for the screen fronts as well this is very important and you need to go over here and ok and once afterwards most probably the lagging and all those things if you are going through they're going to fix out or they're going to drain out or they're going to completely reduce it to a lot lower right now and also there is one more thing that i wanted to make sometimes you know when we launch the system or when we launch the windows there are a lot of apps which is running in the background for example discord and all those things so we need to completely take care of that as well so just go over here what we need to do is we just need to go over here task manager right click and we have to go to the task manager and over here you can see there is an option called over here if you go away startup apps and you can see these things are actually enabled right now so what happens is whenever the moment I'm launching the windows up for the first time, you know, these things are going to pop up again and again and they're going to going to make a lot of messy and even they're going to be running the background, which is affecting the performance. So just go over here, select this one and go for disable it. So disable all the third party things, which is right now, even you can disable it for the Microsoft team. Go over here and disable everything, especially OneDrive is not needed. Opera is not needed. So just disable everything over here and you can disable all these things and even the Steam but let the steam be over here and you can also go over here and you can disable this as well if it is disabled and also you can disable all these things so just remove everything over here or you can disable it based on a pc's configuration or the requirement that you need for example i have enabled the chrome because for me the chrome is needed all the time so i have kept the chrome and even for over here the steam which i used to play a lot of game so steam should be launching in the background that's not a big mess for me but rest everything should be disabled from here and if you find anything like discord epic games and all those things you can remove that as well remove in the sense you can select the respective one and you can disable it as well now we need to close this and we need to go back next one is all about we just need to go over here search for app over here and app with dot cpl now we need to click on this one that's the control panel item over here and right now we can see the lot of things running over here or the lot of things are downloaded over here and these are not much needed for example any disk is not created so i have to go over here go to the uninstall and go over here in the same way over here i have something called driver boost over here you have to uninstall these kind of things over here just remove everything so these things are not needed you have to remove so unwanted things from here can be completely re removed and once you remove all the unwanted things from here you just need to go back and you can check the performance with your system most probably as far as i'm concerned these steps in this video is definitely going to help you guys out they're going to, they're going to increase your performance do you not be facing any kind of lag or slow on your windows 11 afterwards and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also if you find the videos helpful do let us know in the comment sessions and if you have any suggestions to for improving the quality of the content of the video do let us know in the comment sessions i'll be taking it as personally and i'll try to improve myself all the down through it that's it see you soon next video bye